This is one of multiple Genius 3 Lab videos. This is a troubleshooting video. You can find the initial configuration and topology below this video. So either try and troubleshoot this yourself or watch me troubleshoot this topology. The best way to learn is to do it yourself. So I strongly recommend that you import this topology into GNS3 and you try and troubleshoot this yourself. This troubleshooting video is based on previous videos and topologies, which I've linked below. The devices are booted up and I'll open up a console to the devices. So here's router one, it's just booted up. Show IP interface brief. Shows me that multiple interfaces are down. So as an example, serial two slash zero over here is up and down. Serial two slash one is up and down. Serial two slash two is up up. Serial two slash three is administratively down. The multi-link interface is up up. I can't ping router four as an example. Now I know the IP address of router four from the previous labs. Show IP interface brief as an example on router four shows us that router four has this IP address on the multi-link interface, which is incorrect. The interface is down down at the moment. According to this serial two slash zero is up up and serial two slash one is up down. So there's a problem with these interfaces on router four. So it seems to be a bit of a mess at the moment. Let's see if we can configure this properly. Now, when doing these troubleshooting videos, try and not use show run and just look for issues in the running configuration. Try and troubleshoot the issues. So as an example, I'm gonna do a debug PPP authentication on router one to see if there are any authentication problems. We can see that there are problems on serial two slash one serial two slash zero. So there are definitely authentication problems on those interfaces. I'll turn off debugging. For the moment, let's start with the multi-link interface. So I'll shut down the other interfaces so that we can narrow down the problems to the PPP multi-link interfaces. Obviously be careful in the real world shutting interfaces down. But as an example, serial two slash two and two slash three are the two interfaces that are part of PPP multilink. Those are the interfaces that we'll firstly troubleshoot and then we'll come back to the other interfaces. So on router one, show PPP multilink. We can see that there's a problem with this serial interface. It's not part of multilink bundle one. What about on this side? Show PPP multilink. Now here we have a problem. We've got an inactive member of multilink one. So multilink one is inactive and we've got interface serial two slash one as inactive. Debug PPP negotiation. Let's see what that shows us. We can see that an outbound CDP packet is dropped. We've got PPP multi-link enabled on serial two slash three. It's using CHAP authentication. We are getting some success and we're getting phases virtualized. But notice here we've got a message that the peer does not match that of bundle R4. So interface serial two slash three is added to the bundle. but I don't see any messages with interface serial two slash two. We're getting a lot of serial two slash three messages in the output here. And I'll disable the debug at the moment because it's filling up the screen. You need to be careful with your debugs. So debug PPP negotiation here. And I'll immediately disable it by typing unall. Again, be very careful with debugging to the console like I'm doing here. 
Yeah, it's not a major problem because I'm using GNS3, but be very careful doing this in the real world. You may lock yourself out of your router, which is what's happening here. So serial two slash one, authentication protocol is CHAP. We are getting a multi-link PPP negotiation. There's two-way CHAP authentication. Link is being virtualized, but it just continues doing that. Again, we're not seeing interface serial two slash zero on this link at all. So I've managed to kill the network. Let me reload the routers. Again, we can do debugs in this setup without any problems, but be very careful with your debugs in the real world. So I'll open up a console. Here's router one. Here's router four. Show IP interface brief. Now remember I rebooted the router. So interface serial two slash zero needs to be no shut again. Show PPP multi-link. Once again shows us that that interface is not part of the bundle on router one. Show PPP multi-link on this side. We've got no members of the bundle. So show run interface multi-link one. We've got PPP multi-link configured in group one. So that looks good. Show run interface multi-link one on this side. We've got an IP address problem. So IP address 10132. So show run interface multi-link one. So something's happened. We've got a new EIGRP neighbor relationship. So ping 10131. We can ping from one side to the other. So that seems to have solved some problems. Show PPP multi-link. We've got one active member in the PPP multi-link bundle, but interface serial two slash one is still inactive. What about to the side? Show PPP multi-link. Interface serial two slash two looks good, but two slash three doesn't look good. That's the configuration of interface serial two slash two, and that's the configuration of interface serial two slash three. The configuration looks the same on both sides, so that looks good. What about the side? Serial two slash zero and serial two slash one. Can you see a potential problem here? Notice two slash one is in the group, but is shown as inactive, whereas interface two slash zero is shown as a member. But notice this interface is not part of any group. So we should actually put this interface into the multi-link group because we want those two interfaces in the multi-link group. Stuff is happening. So show PPP multi-link now. That looks a lot better. Both interfaces are now in the multi-link group. Show PPP multi-link on this side. We've got two interfaces in the multi-link group. And on this side, we've got two interfaces in the multi-link group. Show CDP neighbors. Router one is available through the multi-link interface on this side. Router four is available through the multi-link group. And we can ping from one side to the other. Show IP route. We can see routes through the multi-link interface. So that looks a lot better. So in summary, the problem here was that we didn't have the one interface in the group. We needed to have both interfaces in the group. We also had an IP address problem on the multi-link interface. Okay, so we've resolved the PPP multi-link problem. Let's see the other interfaces. So show CDP neighbors, we only see router four, and that's because interface two slash zero is up and down, and interface two slash one is up and down. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.